Kampala Edge Times. Did it spill? We got it. Hi, welcome guys to Kampala Edge Times. Happy new month. I'm so excited to see you guys. Uh, I mean, it's such a wonderful time. I have graduated and I'm so happy. It was such a wonderful event. I mean, you guys are such an amazing people. Everyone who congratulated me, I'm so grateful. I'm so happy. As I am here, I'm so excited. But I didn't forget about you, of course. I didn't forget about you. So uh, this week, we also have some news that went down. Uh, Maurice yeah. Kira's birthday. Maurice celebrated his birthday earlier this week. And I think it was a wonderful moment because Maurice Kira has been a wonderful talent to all of us in Uganda. The country celebrates Maurice Kira for his yeah, wonderful yeah. music. Ugandan girl. You know, that kind of content, like really African stuff. Yeah, watch the clip to know more. Maurice Kira is a singer, songwriter, actor, and humanitarian from Uganda, East Africa. He is celebrated. He is a celebrated household name in East Africa with over a decade-long wealth of experience in music industry. His most famous songs are Veda Nabo, Horses in the Sky, Ugandan Girl, and Boda Boda. You cannot talk about the roots of solid, beautiful Ugandan music without mentioning Kiria. On 4th November, Kiria made his 37th age and was celebrated by a number of famous people and brands in Uganda. To know more about Kiria, watch this video deeper. Kiria has performed in over 35 countries and collaborated in performances with the likes of American superstar Neo, German superstar Mark Foster, and American actor and idols winner Jordan Sparks. Morris has also featured in Hollywood films like Queen of Katwe as Theo alongside Lupita Nyong'o and David Oyelowo. He has also acted in The Last King of Scotland as himself, not credited, starring Forrest Whitaker, Kerry Washington and David Oyelowo. Kira is currently starring in The Girl in the Yellow Jumper, an upcoming movie created by Lukman Ali. He is the CEO and founder of The Sound Cup Coffee, a premium coffee brand that started as a restaurant in 2013. He is also CEO and founder of Peas and Pots, a Ugandan-based branding agency. Peas and Pots is the company that also runs the annual music festival, Kiria Live Festival in Kampala, that hosts musicians from within the country and around the world. When asked how he writes his music, he always responds, I see the picture, I feel the emotion, I relate, and the song comes to me. He recently released his latest song and is planning to drop an album. Joshua Cheptege was finally introduced by his long-term fiancé. You know Joshua Cheptege who has represented us at Olympics. You guys are so proud of Joshua Cheptege. So we have to show you this clip. Get a sneak peek of what it felt like, the premiumness of this event. Oh my goodness, people need to watch this. The social hangouts had been waxing lyrical. The churches had been singing praises. Every corner of Sebei sub-region had for the past two months been talking about the introduction ceremony. October 30th had been on everyone's lips. The day had finally arrived, and at about noon, Kapchora municipality was jolted into activity. Police patrol, pickup vehicles, private cars, taxis, buses, trucks, all queued up heading to Chemini, Chemini sub-county, Queen District, about 20 kilometers away. At exactly 1 p.m., a convoy of more than 50 vehicles snaked through the streets. It was time to leave Cheboron, the village that raised Carol Yeko of Kamari clan. The locals had been anxious to see the man who ran away with the heart of one of their finest girls. Show Joshua Cheptege, the world and Olympic champion in company of youngster Jacob Kiplimo and veteran superstar Steven Kiprotich, and a few lads had done their bit. Looking dapper, they joined the convoy waiting in Siron. The gateway to Kapchorwam Road. As soon as they started driving in town, onlookers crowded the road, jostling to catch a sight of the stag groom. Cheptege, clad in a maroon outfit, emerged from the sunroof of Peruth Chemtai's navy blue ride, gifted to her by President Museveni for the Olympics exploits in August. He waved and acknowledged greetings with a bow to wild cheers from the crowds. He then retreated to the car and the convoy drove away. The journey to Carol's home was now in full throttle. Unlike the brave man who outpaced the world's who is who in marathon with a spirit of the wild, the Cheptege of Saturday was a tame man mollified by the melting love of Miss Yeko. He grinned to no particular humor. As the vehicles hurtled down the slopes, Cheptege's heart pounded with vigor 
as it did when he lo- it took the last lap to sprint past other competitors to the finish line. Indeed, he was hooked onto the penultimate phase to take Miss Yeko for keeps, and unlike the Olympics, he had already elbowed out other suitors. Thus, he could not afford to summon fellow star athletes from Kenya, Geoffrey Kamoror and Bridget Kosgei, among others. The Kasumbata clan, where Cheptegei belongs, led by chairman Joseph Musobo, aka Waya, arrived in Chemini with pomp. They strutted into the VIP McQueen's before 2 p.m. with distinctive gait and bothered by the searing afternoon temperatures. I think we have to say congratulations to jo- Joshua Cheptegei uh, for intro- getting introduced by his fiancé. Kenneth Mugavi is releasing his album, however he's selling it at some cost, some price that is not usual to Ugandans, but he's selling physical copies, limited edition, so you should go out and check for yourself a limited edition in case you need it because Kenneth Mugavi is also good music. Are you excited for Kenneth Mugabe's music? Mention it in the comment section. Kenneth Mugabe is set to release a brand new album dubbed People of the Land in a few days to come, but the copies will be limited and quite expensive. His music is different, not the common Chidandali Ugandan sound. And now Kenneth Mugabe is willing to change a few things about music albums, with several artists having dropped their albums already and others planning to release theirs in the coming months. Mugabe is joining the list. People of the Land, however, will be a limited edition sort of album with only 50 premium copies available for sale. Mugabe's management revealed that the 50 copies will be sold at $100 each, an equivalent of about 350,000 Ugandan shillings. The singer confirmed the news through social media where he said that his fans can, who cannot afford purchasing the premium copies will be able to stream it on various online channels. It's true, I'm going to sell premium copies at $100 each and those who can't afford will access the music via streaming channels, Mugabe confirmed. And fourthly, uh, trending on Twitter is Chisoro. I think this segment has not been here, but Chisoro is trending on Twitter. Why? If you don't understand this, please tune to another YouTube channel. But honest, of course I don't mean that. Remain here. How many times is your home? I mean, the nuisance that happened earlier on this week, those two people with a bicycle. <laughs> Look at this, what is happening on Twitter. watching couple of times i remain john kenny i'm so grateful for you guys you guys are the best if you've been watching this please leave comments in the comment section what do you think about morris kira's birthday what do you think about your in the game uh kenneth mugabe and the chisoro incident i remain john kenny thank you kampala edge times did it spill we got it